If for the sake of one man that is being held, nobody goes to work on Mondays in the whole Igbo land, that person must be exceptional. There must be something in that person. Just one person. When now the government is saying you open your offices, go to market. Do they open the offices on Monday? Who is fooling who? They are moving on armored vehicles now. We pray that God, who is our light and salvation, will shine and save us from this tragic moment in Jesus' name. The amazing part of these stories, you need to see these IPOB boys moving. They will not carry any machete. They will not carry any stick. They will not carry any gun. Just their uniform, they will be moving. Just wearing their rising sun. Because whether we believe it or not, the sun must rise. It is a matter of time. That sun, that sun there must rise. The sun. It's not a matter of how many did we kill. Kill this, kill that. I am not in any way, shape or form or at any time we support killing. Bombing them, killing them, shooting them is not the solution. Shed no blood. Save these young men. They have no jobs. They are hungry. They have no jobs. They are hungry. They are idle. They have graduated. Their parents sold everything they had to sponsor them. Now they are being killed. Killing is not the solution. How many will you kill and the thing will be over? Is the question I'm asking. In Anambra a few days ago, people that sent their mother to the mortuary, we are coming back. And they were asked to accept that they are IPOB children. They were saying that we are coming from the mortuary. Killed. People may be ill advising the president, do it this way, do it this way, kill this way. The person we know is Mr. President too. And after he has retired, we he run away. The president should sit down and think and meditate and pray to Allah to give him direction. What is happening now is not ordinary. Nigerian problem is not a complex one. It's not a mobaic. It's not held your headed. Is a problem that has an origin. And whatever has a terminal sadu quo has a terminal sadu quen. Leadership of Excellence Award 2020, and this is the Lockdown Edition. My name is Lillian Momo. We are at the Sheraton Hotel and Towers. It's a, a, an event where you have hardworking people being awarded for what? For their hard work and good works. I'm so honored to be here. Very excited. Thank you. I was the I was going to go. I'm very, very happy to be here today. We are all very, very happy. I thank you for honoring me.